Ah, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. You can tell by the sun shining and the scent of B-list celebrities whose careers have basically ended but have yet to admit it. But there's a brewery here. There's actually several breweries here. Gordon Birch Brewery and Restaurant. Now, whenever you first get into Vegas, it's not a bad idea to stop at a brewery. If you have no idea what you're doing or how you're going to spend the rest of the day, to go there and to kind of plan things out. Very knowledgeable people. Of course, this uh, seems a little fancy. But whatever. Uh. Ah, there is a bar. What we got here? Blonde Bach, Golden Export. That's a Hellas. That's what I have here. Chex Pills, IPA. I like how they put like hoppy. I'm gonna have to try this, the, the milkshake. I'm not a big fan, but you know, watermelon sour batch. Oh God, <laughs> don't make me. <laughs> Marzen, chocolate milk strout. Okay. And you got crab. Ooh, crab. Garlic fries, Bavarian pretzel. Okay, let's look here. Golden Export. It's a Hellas Lager. Ah, golden. If golden could be a flavor, that would be it. It's night, light, refreshing. Slight malt. I don't mind. I like it. The beauty of it is, um... Slight refreshing, slight malt taste to no off character. Very, you know, it kind of finishes off. Almost has, like, kind of a real... Not in a bad way, watery. So you know you're drinking beer, but you also feel like you're, you're being refreshed with liquid. So I like it. Good hell it's like. And enough body that you don't think you're drinking a Budweiser. Oh, yeah. Gives you all the good beer stuff up front. Cleans out. Makes you refreshed in the end. Yeah, I had to do it. The Strawberry Milkshake IPA. You know, the strawberry taste is there, but there's a high, like, malt and kind of uh, lactose taste to it, which adds to it, which kind of makes it feel like a milkshake, because it's so thick and dense, so that gives it a lot of uh, meat to it. It's not cold or, or kind of like that creaminess that you get in the milkshake, so you get kind of this malt, this high malt wheat kind of feel that, that gives it the milkshake thing. Um, IPA, there is a little bit, you can taste a little bit on the back end of the hops, but it's definitely an interesting taste, wow. But, okay, <laughs> I tried the uh, strawberry milkshake IPA and I survived. Can I get a t-shirt now? Ah, uh, yes, tacos. These are shrimp and lobster tacos beans and they ran out of rice and it's going to take them 30 minutes to make more because that's a thing it takes that long to make uh, rice apparently for some reason hey UNLV I just remember when they were the running rebels and they did all those uh, recruitment violations and such the cheatingest team ever in college sports <laughs> It's a Czech Pilsner. Normally I'm out of thing, but the strawberry milk steak IPA wasn't very hoppy or very flavorful for that matter. Oh, pure crisp with a long hang on that kind of a sour hop right at the end. Really kind of makes it good. Nice true Pilsner. That, that kind of that hang right on the end. That, that, that's the thing that's defining about the Pilsner. You get that spike in color, and that flavor, and then it kind of comes out and just hangs out there. That's what makes a Pilsner to me. And this is a decent check Pilsner. There was another Pilsner in a small town, and they called it Budweiser at one point. Now the Budweiser today is nothing like that back then. But the name has changed. Oh. 
the Mars in room. And the big tanks. So this is uh, uh, Gordon Bosch Brewery. Uh, the big thing here is is it's it's really good. Um, the taco in uh, the tacos with shrimp and lobster was very good. I did detect that kind of lobster main kind of taste to it, so I guess it's very good. Shrimp, I don't mind too much. It's good. Um, the big thing here is that you get uh, the beer is not ecstatic or fantastic by a lot of respects, but it's a, probably a lot better than crap you get around from a lot of the other restaurants. Really going to come down to it. You get really good beer here. I mean, if, you, if you're just okay with mixed drinks or just being kind of told to what like, tastes great, hey, any restaurant will do. But I guess the, the strength here is that you get a lot of good beer and the, the food is food is good as well. Um, I just want to be, wouldn't be pigeonholed into crap. So, okay.